right, so number five is actually not going to be a professional sporting event, so it's not specific to Atlanta, but the Georgia Bulldogs are only an hour and change down the road. And the 2018 title game. I mean, this was when the Bulldogs had a 20-7 to lead in the second half against rival Alabama to win the national championship, their first since Herschel Walker. 20-7 to lead in the second half. And remember, they could have won in overtime after the sack of Tua had backed Alabama up to the 41-yard line, and that field goal would have been impossible nearly to make, probably. would have been nearly a 60-yarder, and instead Tua threw the 41-yard touchdown to win it in overtime. The 2018 national title game for George against Alabama of all teams. Number five. Number four. Now we're talking Falcons football. The 2012 NFC Championship game. Remember, the Falcons at home at the Georgia Dome in 2012 faced the upstart Niners. And they have a 17-0 lead in that game. 17-0 lead at home in the NFC Championship game and lose to the San Francisco 49ers who go on to the Super Bowl. Number three, let's talk some Braves collapse. The Braves in 1991, their first World Series under the new regime, Bobby Cox, John Schurholtz, etc. Their first World Series in Atlanta. They had a 3-2 series lead over the Twins going back to Minnesota, the Metrodome. In game six, they go to the 11th inning and Kirby Puckett smacks the home run and we'll see you tomorrow night. That was their first chance at clinching the World Series. Their second chance came in game number seven. Remember, they lost in 10 innings, one nothing to Jack Morris in one of the most historically great epic games ever. Game seven in the Metrodome. But remember, in the eighth inning, Lonnie Smith stopped running on a double by Terry Pendleton and was held at third. It was a hit and run. He should have scored. They would have won. Instead, he stops. He slows down. He's held at third. They have bases loaded one out, and they don't score, and they lose in the 10th inning. 91. Crushing. That, though, didn't top 96, where the Atlanta Braves, number two on this list, were up two games to one in a game four against the Yankees. They were at home at Atlanta Fulton County Stadium, and in the sixth inning, led 6 nothing. Okay, so they are a six-run lead away from having a 3-1 series lead of which they're not going to gag all three of those games away. And Jim Leritz and that 96 Yankees team scores three in the sixth, three in the eighth, tie it, and then win in extras. A 3-1 series becomes 2-2. The Braves never win another game and losing game six to the New York Yankees. That's how close they were from going back to back. But the number one collapse of all time, obviously, is the Super Bowl a couple of years ago. When in Super Bowl 51, the Atlanta Falcons led 28 to three with two minutes to play in the third quarter. They were 17 minutes away and 25 points up. And they choked that, the choke of all chokes. The choke that is the Mona Lisa of chokes. Number one, Super Bowl 51 in the Super Bowl. The choke. I mean, yesterday isn't even a top five Atlanta choke. That's how unbelievably brilliant and experienced they are in the art form of the choke. Bravo, Atlanta. Only you could do it this well. How about being an Atlanta sports fan? Is that not the ultimate series of punch to the gut, kick to the groin, head butt, and then knock your teeth out?